What's up loves? It's Anam and I'm back for part three of all things love this month with having guests on my channel in February. And happy Valentine's, happy Day. Valentine's Day. We are filming this um, and when you're watching it, it'll be the day after Valentine's Day. So we hope that you had such a great Valentine's Day with your friends, with yeah. your significant other. And you know, if you're in Seattle right now watching this, it is just snowing like We're crazy. Snow apocalypse. I was like, what? the heck is happening but we're gonna get straight into today's video i'm so excited to have my friend lauren on here Hi. she's like a sister um and we're gonna be talking about five movies that you could watch for valentine's <laughs> day my niece is out at the door um, or five things that you can do if you are stuck inside and it's snowing but if it's your first time on my channel welcome i post videos up every single friday about life beauty organizing and people that i do life with so hit that red button down below and join me subscribe but before we get into the video like i do with all my guests um you obviously know her name lauren lauren i have one question for you okay if you had to leave everything tomorrow okay. everything is paid for where would you go like a trip just anywhere in the world trip to anywhere Ooh, you know, I mean, I've traveled a little bit. I've been to a few different countries. Um, I want to travel more. I yep. hate airplanes. I wish yeah, I could just I teleport there really quick, but I would go to Greece, I think. Ooh, Be Santorini. Yeah, because oh. all the white stucco in the water. My sister's been there. It's, so, it's so, pretty. so pretty. I've had lots of friends who've been there, and I feel like they have lots of fun yeah. restaurants. I love you Greek walk food. Around My everywhere. husband loves Greek food. Yeah, so oh. we would go to Greece. When it's warm, whatever season, it's all expenses paid. Most sunny in, yeah. And we would go in, just have fun. I love that. Sunrise. Oh my gosh, dresses every single day. I'm all about it. So me and Lauren came up with five movies that you could watch with your girlfriends or with your significant other if he can watch through it all. Yeah, which he can stick if it he out. can. You it's Valentine's Day. Yeah, you he have has to. to. Um, so this is what we came up with. The first movie, Lauren. You love this movie. I love this movie. Everyone loves this movie. It's a classic. I hate movies, and I love this movie. <laughs> you so should like that totally watch She's the Man. Amanda Bynes. You it's a movie that, on. you know, I watched probably, like, over 45 times oh, yeah. in middle school. In the year. It's so quirky. It's so cheesy. And it's cute. It's, it's, it's really so cute. cute. And I feel like guys love this movie. Secretly, they won't. Like, you yeah, know, they would never it. say it. Oh my gosh, but I think you guys love this movie. My so husband would totally watch it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a good movie for everyone. Yeah. Um, second movie is Kate and Leopold. Oh, it's oh so sweet. You think you hear the name and you're kind of like, what is hmm, that? What's is this it old? movie? No, it's super cute though. That's a great one. Uh, next one. I think? love it. Um, you've got mail. Oh, classic. Okay. If you have movie. not seen You've Got Mail, where that, are you? That should be your number one. Meg oh Ryan. Gosh. Tom Hanks. It's so, so it sweet. It is so sweet. They, it's kind of over like Christmas time, but it shows it a few different seasons. And it's yeah. really... That's a great one. It has a good storyline. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And I was like, back in the day, people would actually like, you know, go out and, you know, date. I mean, people do it now, but it's like... It's romantic. Like, it's it's so romantic. You get some good ideas, fellas. Um, the next movie, I love this movie. So I love Nicholas Sparks movies, but the <laughs> one thing, <laughs> the one thing that I hate about it is someone always dies, and it's just like horrible. But this movie, it's true. No one dies, um, and that movie is The Choice. Have you ever seen that movie? Well, I've never seen oh, it. But it's so good. Now we have a new movie to watch. I highly recommend it. It's the so choice. cute. And like the guy's like a southern gentleman. Like huh. I, cute. All ladies want a southern gentleman. Am I right? right? Oh my gosh. So chivalrous. It's a great, great movie. Um, and then the last one, I couldn't decide between the two mm. because they're six. so good. You get six. You get six. Is these two Jennifer Lopez movies. Is you one the wedding planner? Yes, one is the wedding I, planner. The wedding planner is on Netflix. So good. You don't have a reason not to watch no, it. No, it's so good. I might have been watching it the other night, and my husband came home and thought, "What is this movie?" And then I he love totally it. loved it. It's He's like gonna love that I said Jennifer that Jennifer Lopez, Matthew McConaughey. You just can't go wrong. And then the other movie that she's in is Made in Manhattan. Haven't seen it. Oh, got a new one to watch. Oh my gosh, so good! It's like girl next door and like this high yeah. you know, like politician or whatnot like falls yeah. in love with her. Like you just you and you know good. I know there's people out there who are probably thinking, okay, but I don't like chick flicks. 
one yeah. of our best friends hates chick flicks, but you can't not watch one of them and yeah. love it because they're all so sweet and it's just feel good movies, yeah. especially on Valentine's Day. And they're you cute. don't have to be with a significant other to watch this. Nope. Like you can like make yourself some good treats, yeah, get some with tea, your girlfriends. girlfriends. We're gonna do Valentine. Yeah, I'm all about that. Um, so. We've named the five movies that you could totally watch six. now. <laughs> oh, yeah, six. <laughs> um, now we are going to name five things that you can do if you're stuck inside because yeah. of the snow. It is crazy outside. I wish I could show you what it is looking like outside. It is dumping down snow. Yeah. And these are some of the things you could do. Lauren, can you name one of the things that you could do? You know, one of the first things uh, that I've been doing at home, because I'm a teacher and I've had lots of snow days from the kids, and so I've been home thinking, what should I do? And I've done a lot of baking and cooking. So, so I made fun. a really yummy um, soup with like coconut milk and Ooh. kale and sausage and potatoes, I onions. I love that. That was really good, like a warm winter soup. I love that. That's yeah. like perfect. And then like, yeah. I love baking, mm -hmm. and so I'm always Yum. looking up like new recipes that I I could try and I like I feel like there's like a health craze going on like everyone's on a health there craze is. so I'm always looking at different ways on to make it healthier mm -hmm. but still really good so yep. you can bake or cook something yeah um, share it with your neighbors your friends so good um, another thing that I love and it just gets everyone involved is playing board games well, you can't go you wrong know, with board games. You know, I love a good board game. <laughs> I feel like it's like overrated now. Like no one plays board games yeah. at all. And I think it's so much fun. I do. We play Ticket to Ride. That's my oh, favorite game. So good. Sponsor us, Ticket to Ride. <laughs> Give me all the countries. I love you think, it. oh, what on earth is Ticket to Ride? It's the best game. It's you'll play so it. Good. You'll love it. You move your little trains around. Oh my gosh, you strategize and you're trying to win. Oh my gosh, it's so fun. I played it I at Lauren's house for the first time and I loved it. <laughs> Another thing that you can do is crafting. Ooh. Ooh. We just went to Joanne Fabrics. Yes. And I bought um, some yarn. What are you going to be crafting? I am going to be crafting little baby booties. Oh, <laughs> so, <excited>. so cute. <laughs> it's going to be for my nieces. And I'm like, you know what? Why not? I have like all this spare time. I'm it. stuck in the house. Mm -hmm. I might so as well make the most of it. Booties. They're so cute. And I it's probably not that hard to do. So it'll no, be fine. We can, you can teach yourself how to do anything. Yeah. I mean, you can find it on YouTube. YouTube. Like, you can find it on Pinterest. Pinterest. You have the oh whole world gosh. at your fingertips. So, don't, so You don't easy. have to be crafty. You can learn how to be crafty. You can. That's she said it herself. Um, what's another thing that you can do? Well, home. we're on the Marie Kondo kick. So mm. you got to go and clean, organize, yep. purge. Get rid of those extra summer clothes, sweaters, all just yeah. the junk that you, you know don't clogs need. your closet. Yeah, yeah, that you don't need. So we've been doing that. Um, deep cleaning. Yeah. Deep oh my clean gosh. my shower, my kitchen. I gotta do that today. The spare room, all of that. You know, when you're home, it's hard when you come home from a long day of work. Yeah. You don't really want to go and clean everything. So take advantage of your days when you have time and get everything nice and it's like a winter cleaning it is <laughs> like there's the what is it the spring cleaning mm -hmm. you could do a winter cleaning you need the winter cleaning i'm all about too. organizing and purging it just yep. makes your life less stressful yep. and you can like breathe mm -hmm. and i love that about it and then one of the last things you probably have heard this everywhere is you can read a book readers are leaders <laughs> You gotta do your reading. I'm a teacher. I love that. Tell my kids, 30 minutes a day. Adults should be reading at so least 30 minutes a day. Put your phone down, yeah. check your screen time. You're probably at like at least three hours. The average person I think spends about three hours. Oh my gosh. I might've made up that fact, but I would assume <laughs> it's about three hours. So oh pick gosh. up a book. What, what book have you been reading? Um, now? Right now, I have been reading the book, Girl, Wash Your Face by Ooh, Rachel Hollis. I've heard so oh. many people have read that. I mentioned it in like a couple of my videos, uh, maybe two weeks ago, two, three weeks ago. Yeah. And she is literally amazing. She wow. tells you like straight up, like not like what to do, but like if you want to be successful in life, yeah. like these are the steps that you can oh, take. That's so cool. So practical. And I'm like, wow, I'm just so encouraged by it. But that's really good. We should what all read it. What book are you reading? Um, you reading I just, it? yes. I just finished It's Not Supposed to Be This Way by Lisa Turkers. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. amazing. Super encouraging. She's so good. Yeah. And then I'm also reading um, A Thousand Blessings by Ann Voskamp, which is all about 
being grateful and yeah. thankful for all the things that come into your life, whether they're positive or yeah. negative and just looking at it as a blessing and yeah. opportunity to be grateful. And it totally changes your perspective. So that's a really great book too, wow. if you're looking for a good one. I love books that you can like almost like just improve on yourself yeah but then improve like things about your life because mm -hmm. it's just it's so helpful and it's encouraging and you just see a different perspective on it which i think just helps every single area of your life yeah absolutely so i absolutely love that but those were the five things Woo! that you can do inside the house if you are snowed in don't just netflix binge no, don't just no. watch movies no do something productive you totally can and it'll be so worth it Woo! i absolutely love it but if you guys liked this video or an I'm even sure loved <laughs> lore, like, and you want to see her more on my channel, oh. then give this video a thumbs up, and I would love to have lore on my channel. Yay. She is just so full of wisdom. She's the sweetest person you will ever meet. Thanks, and the mom. greatest teacher, guys. Like, we love our teachers. Oh. And we hope that you guys had a very happy Valentine's Day. Yay. I'm so excited for next week. I'm looking forward to next week, and it is the last week for having a guest on my channel oh. this month. It's going to be so, so awesome. fun. I love you so much. See ya. Aww, we love you. Can you do it? Mwah! Good job, Boo Boo. Yay! Boo Boo, say, say happy. Happy birthday. <laughs> happy birthday, you yes, two. Yes, it is going to be Uncle Shimon's birthday. That's smart. Can you say happy? Can you say Valentine? Oh, good day. Good day. Good job. Right? Oh, good. Okay. So how do I know when it's going? Oh, it's the red button. So it's going. It is. Oh, yeah. It's definitely going. <laughs> Cutie little cheers with what's happening in here. Oh, I with them. Um, <laughs>